prophets? Greetings, Akhle Welcome to the Monastery of St. Luna. My name is Father Simeon. I have been told that you have some ability to perceive the world beyond this temporal plane. Now we shall see if this talent can be harnessed. Please pick up the holy symbol in the center of the room, and we will begin. Good. When our time in this world is at an end, our body returns to the earth and our soul goes to the Builder's side. Sometimes the body refuses to embrace the earth. These become the undead, to be purified with the hammer and holy water. However, sometimes it is not the body, but the spirit that stays in this world after death. These spirits are known by many names, ghosts, shades, phantoms. Some are benign and some are harmless, but others can wreak terrible havoc on the world of the living. As it is our duty to repel the undead, so it is also our duty to repel these spirits. The holy symbol you have picked up shall enable you to do so. Please, follow me into the first chamber. The door to this chamber has been locked, but do not worry. There is someone inside this very room who knows how to open it again. You may not see him, but my old mentor, Father Martel, is present in spirit. Your first task is to talk to him. There are several objects in this room, one of which was very special to Father Martel. Such cherished objects can anchor souls to this world after they have died. If you find such an object, it can serve as a gateway to that spirit. Use your instinct. As you near a cherished object, you should be able to sense its presence. Once you have found it, place your holy symbol upon it, and you shall enter into the realm of that spirit. Oh, hello there! I am Father Martel. It's good to see one so young following in the ways of the Builder. If you wish to leave my spirit room, just place your holy symbol on my hammer again. Oh, but I suppose you want to know how to exit the room in your world too. Very well. If I recall, after my death, they placed several buttons around the base of the statue to St. Lucia. To exit, you need to press the fire and ice buttons. Don't forget the fire and ice buttons. Good. I saw your body disappear and reappear as you traversed Father Martel's spirit realm. I do hope he told you how to exit the room. Otherwise, you can always return and ask him again. Congratulations. You may have noticed that spirit realm you entered looked different than the physical room you stand in. This is because the spirits live in the world as they remember not as it is now. Depending on when the spirit lived and what their mental state was, their version of reality can be quite different from ours. Please, follow me into the second chamber. Your next task is to make your way up here to meet me. In our world, this is impossible. However, within Father Martel's spirit realm, there is a way. Another of his cherished objects is somewhere within this room. Seek it out and uncover its secret.
Hello again, friend. Oh, does that pair of gold candlesticks bring back memories? You see, when I was a young, naughty acolyte, my fellows dared me to take one of them and stick it on the ceiling. <laughs> so, I stuffed it in my pocket, nicked a bow from the armory, and roped my way all the way up. Can you imagine the look on the abbot's face when he saw it? <laughs> though, eh, I didn't find it quite as funny while I was scrubbing the floors for the next month after that. Welcome back. A word of advice. The spirit world is myriad, but one. If you pick up items in one spirit realm, they will be available to you in any other spirit realm you enter. Thus, if you return to the first chamber and take something from Father Martel's spirit realm there, you can use it back here. You can see that where you are now is different from where you entered Father Martel's spirit realm. When one enters a spirit realm, it is not just with their mind, but their whole form. If you exit a spirit realm in a different location from where you entered it, your physical body will move to that location as well. Keep this in mind, as it may be quite useful in your endeavors. Now, there is no easy way down from there. So please, jump over to where I am and we can continue on to your third and final test. You have done well so far, young acolyte. So well, in fact, that I have a request to make of you which will also serve as your final test. Past this door lies the monastery's crypt. The crypt has recently become haunted by a restless spirit. Your task is to enter the realm of this spirit and discover the source of its anger. Once you have uncovered the reason it is haunting the crypt, return to me with the information.
A word of warning, however. You cannot harm a spirit in its own realm, so it is best to stay hidden from it. You may also encounter dark, featureless beings in the realm of the spirit. These are projections of others that the spirit knew during its lifetime. You can harm these projections, but the spirit itself will be invulnerable. Now gird yourself, and may the Builder be with you. Get out. Are you with him? You can't hide from me.
information we will uncover the culprit in due time and restore the spirit to peace. Well done. You have passed all the tests. There is much more to learn in the days ahead. But I can see that the Builder has blessed you with great gifts. Welcome to our ranks, Brother Bolden. I am sure that you are tired from today's endeavors. End night is soon upon us. You may return to your room now and we shall commence your proper training in the morning. south, we feared that even this sacred place would fall to their relentless march. In his wisdom, Father Luna had the Forge Brothers hide our holy works under the tomb of St. Lazarus. We have stood watch over them ever since. In gratitude, I give this treasure to you now. Go to the tomb of St. Lazarus and you will find a small wheel. Spin it to reveal the way and remember, press lightning, cup, lion and fire. May the Builder's blessing be on you always. <laughs> 